Hi, today we're going to do the first sprint using the Roblox Duo um, that we have set up. And the model um, that we are going to print is the 3D Bench Chip, uh, which is a popular model used for testing 3D printers, especially its capability of um, accuracy uh, on dimensions, as well as its uh, uh, capabilities of uh, printing uh, challenging situation where like a slanted bodies, uh, arches and also um, holes and uh, little details like wordings and etches uh, um, around and all this uh, will be done uh, with uh, one of uh, one material uh, we test support. Um, let's see how the Roblox Duo does uh, in this uh, test. Before we start printing I would like to set up also the GoPro uh, sync function triggering from the automaker itself. Uh, what this feature does is that it enables the use of a GoPro camera with a Wi-Fi enabled and uh, you point it at the print bit and for every layer that it prints it will take uh, a uh, photo and uh, this photo we can uh, series of photos that uh, we can later combine into a time lapse. And the way to set this up is from Automaker, we go to the settings, and then we go under preference. There is a time lapse setting, and you need to enable this time lapse. There will be a slight delay uh, in your print for each of the layer due to it go um, moving the prints to uh, moving the print head away so that it, it will actually take a, a picture so there's actually a delay this is the default settings seconds of delay which is two and a capture delay of uh, two as well two seconds uh, what this means is that at every end of a layer it will move uh, the x and y um, to this position and then Finally, uh, after a delay, it will send the command to uh, the uh, GoPro to take the picture. And uh, how it does this is through the Wi-Fi itself. So I've set up the PC to connect to the GoPro Wi-Fi settings. And uh, I have to ensure that the password of the Wi-Fi is uh, set here, uh, which corresponds to the um, password uh, which we already presets in the GoPro camera itself uh, through the uh, mobile app. We shall test uh, and see um, if it triggers uh, once uh, we start printing. First thing we should do is uh, to add the model that we want to print, uh, the SDL file, um, onto Automaker. Uh, you would like to press uh, the uh, plus sign here and it will ask you to load a model. So we can load a model um, from the commands uh, buttons below here. I'll say add a model and I have the 3D Benji ready. And it will show you a preview of uh, the model um, on the uh, print bed. So I'll just do a quick rotation around uh, to let you see how this model actually looks like. Um, we can also uh, zoom a little bit closer. And I'll just rotate this around. Okay, and I'm going to just select the model. Um, currently it's set for material one, which is not the material that we want to use. Uh, that is uh, on poly support. I'll just, just flip it to the material number two, uh, the sunset orange uh, PLA. And with that, I'll just check the scale to en uh, ensure that it's hundred percent um, to test uh, the dimensions once it's printed out uh, the way that it's meant for the three D benchy. And next, I'll just go to settings. And in settings, you have three preset uh, profiles uh, for the quality. So you have the draft mode, the normal mode, and the fine uh, mode uh, with, with uh, increasingly fine details and also uh, uh, smaller uh, layer heights uh, for higher quality. So we will uh, use uh, the normal um, quality for this print and of course uh, at the same time um, there's actually uh, no need for supports because we are going to print this without support so we're going to leave this blank uh, the rough tennis support for now 
and uh, you can see while um, we are waiting, uh, it actually um, estimated the time of print. So for normal quality, it's going to take about an hour and 53 minutes, uh, about uh, two hours. Uh, and uh, the amount of material that will be used and also the uh, cost uh, of printing. So the cost of printing, you can actually calculate. Um, currently, I think uh, it is in uh, pound, uh, in British pounds. Uh, you can actually put in an exchange rate to make it um, your local currency. Um, I'll do this uh, in a later date. And um, with uh, that, uh, we can actually already start printing. Print is starting. Currently, it's doing the bit leveling, uh, which uh, it goes to each of uh, the points um, on the print bit and uh, touching it to enable the to ensure the uh, leveling of the bit. After an hour and 15 minutes, uh, the print was done and uh, this is the result. And uh, you can see that uh, the 3D Benji came out quite nice. Um, the finishing and smoothness at the side. Uh, the small little details like the ports, holes and uh, the arches and the, where the bridging uh, is uh, usually uh, more challenging the slanted surfaces and uh, also the wording on the first layer is uh, clearly visible so this is uh, the first print uh, using the uh, Robox Duo um, and uh, it's uh, worth noting that uh, on a normal setting uh, the layer height is a 0 0.2 uh, millimeter. In contrast, on the right, the black color one, this is uh, taken uh, using uh, my older um, Delta printer. And uh, in order to um, get to this uh, level of printing, uh, a lot of uh, tuning on the parameters, uh, the retraction, uh, bridging settings um, had to be set. Um, and yet, uh, if you look at the smoothness of uh, the two models, you'll notice that uh, there's uh, actually uh, quite a significant uh, improvement on the Robux Duo um, compared to the one that, uh, from uh, the unnamed um, Delta that I was using. And uh, you can also see that uh, for the uh, older printer, um, the first layer words has been squished and uh, you, I, it's uh, barely legible. The bridging is not bad, uh, but there's uh, a lot of uh, uh, striations and uh, you can see uh, the uh, layer, um, there's uh, some wobbling 
um, on the head also if you look at uh, the uh, top uh, exhaust or the chimney um, you see that uh, there's uh, actually some um, warping there uh, at the end uh, this typically happens uh, when uh, the next layer is uh, printed uh, on uh, the previous layer and it hasn't settled down yet or hasn't cooled down enough yet so the second layer will um, sort of like a, a pull on it and uh, make it um, disfigured the one from the Robox is pretty much circular and uh, quite perfect I must say okay so there's a small little wording here um, even for uh, this is uh, the 3D Benji word uh, it won't be visible on this level of uh, printing because uh, it's at uh, 0 0.2 millimeter and uh, the details here is uh, should be visible if uh, we print using 0 0.1 millimeter um, layer height uh, which I will try another day so there you have it the uh, first prints of uh, the Robox Duo and uh, this is uh, right out of the box and uh, no tuning um, was needed. Uh, truly a, a out of the box experience. Hope uh, you um, enjoyed uh, the uh, walkthrough um, all throughout from the unboxing all uh, up to the first print. And uh, do stay tuned. Um, we will do more exciting stuff uh, with the Robox Duo. Things like uh, testing different filaments, um, ABS, uh, PTG, and uh, what not yeah? and probably uh, some uh, flexible material as well so until then um, see you again bye